This video will describe the Word Documents and Source Databases tab of the Setups dialog. We highly encourage you to use these Word Documents as you're working through a book, each book of the Bible. At the beginning of your project, when your lexicon and grammar aren't very well developed, you can go sentence by sentence. For example, here we have Ruth 2.12, sentence 1. Ruth 2.12, sentence 2. 2.12, sentence 3, etc. Later, as your lexicon and grammar become better developed, you can go verse by verse. But at the beginning, sentence by sentence. And in this center column, you can put this sentence in, in English or the national language or whatever language you prefer, whatever language your MTTs are comfortable working with. Then over here, in the third column, the MTTs write their translation of that sentence. And now we'll link TBTA to this Word document. Okay, that's the Book of Ruth. So we come down to the Book of Ruth. Uh, this is right here. So now, as soon as we do that, okay, so the MTT's translation of Ruth 2.12.1 is displayed right here in this window. Now when we click the Generate button, TBTA produces its draft. And wherever they're different, TBTA will highlight it in red. Um, it finds the first place where they're different and the last place where they're different. And everything in between is highlighted in red. Same over here. So we see, okay, here, TBTA has a different verb form than the MTT used. We can say compare text again, ignoring the highlighted text. Now it shows us the next place. So we here, here we see this word and this word. And again, TBTA used a different verb form. We'll say compare again, ignoring the difference. And then one more. There's the MTT put in a G at the end of this word. Uh, we'll tell it to ignore that. And now the texts are the same. So these are the three issues that we need to focus on in this, in this particular sentence. Uh, another reason this is helpful is because when we, when we link a Word document to TBTA, then we can, uh, whenever we're writing a rule, we can come down here to the comment and do a right click, insert a comment from your selected Word document, and it will copy and paste this sentence, again, English or your national language or whatever language you put in that center column, and the MTT's equivalent. So now in each rule, you can have a good example illustrating what that rule is intended to do. So we highly recommend using these Word documents. And you can see here, uh, I, I color code, I put questions down below each sentence, and I color code them so that I can, when I talk to the MTTs, I can find out what's going on. And then also in this dialog, this tab, uh, down here we have the source databases. You will almost always certainly use the current source databases. The only time we ever use the archived source databases is when we've worked on a project and then we've stopped. And new issues of the Bible come out, new issues of our ontology come out, but you stop updating your, your target language project. Then you would want to use an archived source database. But in general, as long as you're working on your language project, you will want to use current source databases.